Hello friends, this video on force and pressure part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about non-contact forces. As I mentioned before that there are certain forces in which it is not required that the bodies remain in contact in order that the force exists between them. For example, the gravitational force. So here we will talk about some of the non-contact forces. First of all, we will discuss magnetic force. What is magnetic force? This is a force exerted by the magnets. Now we all know every magnet has two poles, north pole and south pole. And we also know that like poles attract each other and uh, like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. That means north and south poles will tend to attract each other whereas north north will tend to repel each other similarly south south will tend to repel each other so therefore these magnetic force can be attractive or repulsive it will be attractive in case of unlike poles if it will be repulsive in case of like poles so let, let us think of some examples where you see these kind of magnetic forces now let us suppose you have a magnet and bring some nails near it so magnet, it is obviously a magnet, the nails get attracted by the magnet, correct? So in this case, do you think that this, so the nails, they are one object, the magnet is another object. Now, do you think that the magnet and the nails, they were in contact with each other? There is absolutely no contact between them, but still the nails were feeling an attraction towards the magnet due to the presence of an attractive force. So this force existed even when the objects were not in contact with each other. Therefore, magnetic force is a non-contact force. Let us look at few more examples of magnetic force. Now, if you take two magnets and you align them in such a way that uh, south pole of one faces the north pole of another. So in this case also if you see there is a, quite a considerable distance between the two magnets and they are not in contact. But still due to the presence of an attractive force they tend to move towards each other. So that means a force exists and this force is actually causing a change in state of motion because the magnets are moving towards each other. Again, if you take two magnets with their like poles near each other, like here also you have south pole, this side also you have south poles, then they tend to move away from each other. So here also they were not in contact, but still the force existed. Think of the door of your refrigerator. Have you ever observed that the door has magnet attached to it? And that is why while you try to close the door of the refrigerator, as you bring the door quite near, then it gets closed on its own due to an attraction, due to magnetic force. Similarly, when you want to open the door of your refrigerator, you need you really need to apply a good amount of force so that you are able to overcome that attractive magnetic force and you are able to open the door. So once the door gets closed, it gets completely closed. It is not that you just touch the door and it will get opened. You actually need to apply a very good amount of force. Electric motors, electric generators. So these are also examples where we find application of magnetic force. So with this we get to know that magnetic force is a non-contact force. It doesn't need objects to be in contact with each other. And this force is exerted by magnet on another magnet or on electrically charged particles. For example, a magnet uh, exerts attractive or repulsive force on another magnet as you can see on the screen. But a magnet can also exert attractive forces on nails. So nails are just electrically charged particles. So this was about magnetic force. Now we will talk about electrostatic force which is another example of non-contact force. So what is electrostatic force? It is force exerted by charged bodies or on other charged or uncharged bodies. So here electrostatic. So electro is something related to electric field. Static that is charged. Static means something which is not moving, something which is stationary or static. So these are this, this force is all about charges which are at rest. So charged bodies they will also exert some force on other charged bodies or on other uncharged bodies. So let us look at some example. Have you ever observed that sometimes if you if you are using a plastic comb 
Now, when you try to bring the comb near your hair, you will see that few of the hairs which are present on the outer side, they tend to fly away, they tend to get attracted towards the comb. If you want, you can try it out yourself at your home. So when your hair is quite dry and you try to bring a plastic comb near your hair, you will see that few of the hairs will tend to move away, move towards the comb. Similarly, uh, a balloon, if it is rubbed on a cloth for some time and then if you bring it near uh, small pieces of paper, you will see that those small pieces of paper get attracted towards the ba balloon and they stick to the balloon. So this also happens. Now why this force of attraction exists even though these pieces of paper are not in contact with the balloon. This shows that this type of force is a non-contact force. Similarly here also if you see the comb and the hair they are not in contact with each other but still there is a force of attraction existing between them. So these the electrostatic force again is a non-contact force that is one thing. Next thing is electrostatic force. In electrostatic force also we talk about things like attraction or repulsion but they are not the same as magnetic force. So in electrostatic force that the force is produced by stationary charges that is static charges whereas in case of magnetic force it is produced by moving charges. Because many people often confuse these two types of forces. So whenever you talk about electrostatic force so electrostatic force is produced by stationary charges whereas when you talk about magnetic force so this type of force is produced by moving charges so magnetic force involves magnets and magnetic materials but in case of electrostatic force as you saw just now we talk about just normal objects like comb or balloons because even they can acquire some charge and when they acquire some charge so they can also exert some force and that type of force is called electrostatic force so this was the second example for non-contact forces now we will talk about the last example of non-contact force that is gravitational force so it is again an attractive force that attracts every object with mass so basically the concept of gravitation tells us that every object in this universe whether it is a tiny object or it is a huge object, object all of them exert an attractive force on every other object existing on earth. So yes what I am saying is, is what you understood. It's like if there is a pen on the table and there is a book lying on the table so the pen and the book they are continuously exerting some attractive force on each other. So it is not only the objects existing on the earth. So earth itself is also not an exception. So earth also exerts attractive forces on other objects. For example, when the apple falls off the tree, why does it fall towards the ground? That's because this apple is experiencing an attraction towards the ground and this attraction is due to the earth. So the earth exerts an attractive force on all the objects including this apple and this attractive force is so strong that the objects tend to fall towards the earth. Now let us look at some other examples which will tell that gravitational force exists that is the force of gravity of the earth also exists. Now have you ever observed that when you open the tap the water always falls towards the surface of the earth. Why does the water always fall in the downward direction? Why doesn't it fly up in the air? So that's because there is an attractive force towards the surface of towards the earth and that is why the water tends to fall towards in the downward direction towards earth. Similarly, if you if whenever you throw something, whenever you release something, as long as you are holding an object, it is fine. It is there wherever you are holding it. But as soon as you release it, it tends to fall in the downward direction. It doesn't fly in the sky. It doesn't go upward. It always falls in the downward direction. That is again because the earth is constantly trying to attract, uh, constantly exerting attractive forces on other objects. Again, whenever you uh, tend to fall down, where do you fall? You fall towards the ground. That is also because you are also continuously being attracted by the earth. So these are some of the examples which tell us that earth exerts an attractive force on all the objects. 
and this force is known as the force of gravity by the earth force of gravity thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again